We're here in Hartford at the Connecticut Lighting Center. Now, you know this. They have thousands and thousands of lights, but I bet you didn't know they have some of the newest technologies in shades. Take a look. So, Jim here, I see on the display model it's just one kind of shade, but in this book, there are hundreds and hundreds of different combinations that you can have. Of different colors and materials, absolutely. This is a, what they call a cellular shade by a company called Lutron. Uh, and as you can see here, these are the different types of cellular shades. You have the single cell, which you see is one big open cell. You have the double cell, which actually multiplies the R value of your window by four times. Really? Meaning less heat will escape and less cold will get in. And then you have room darkening. You see it's foil lined. That doesn't let light penetrate. So that perfect example is if you have a, a TV room mm -hmm. and the sun is coming in and you can't see the TV because the window reflection is in the thing, that will eliminate that. And you have some of these in practice in the store too. Absolutely. It's amazing we, that you can yeah, see the difference. We have over there, you can see that there's yeah. the larger, sh the three large shades. Now when people come in here and they talk to you about their shades, as you flip through this book, there's so many different options. It's not yeah. just about how there's, many cells there are. All kinds, and one of the nice things about the shade displays is each one actually opens up so you can really see what it looks like. Oh, wow. And notice that it's colored on one side and white on the other side. The white would be the side that would face the window. The street, oh, okay. So it would reflect the most. Now, the other neat thing about this is it's battery powered and it's perfect for people who love DIY. Watch, watch this. There are your batteries, and it'll run from anywhere from two batteries up to eight batteries. It uses a standard D-cell alkaline. It will last for three years of two ups and downs a day. It's simple to install. This is what's called an inside mount, where you see it, it goes between the jams. If you have trimmer on your window and you want to have an outside mount on the jam, it can do that. The best thing about it, and you get the close up and see inside there, is that it's just two screws per mount and it snaps right in, boom, it's in, and you're ready to, to fly. So even someone like me could actually get this done, and, and it comes with one of these two. Tell us about this sensor. There's, there's different types of controls to operate. It can operate from a lighting control system, or it can operate from a simple little unit called a Pico. And the Pico is a small little unit that can fit inside of a plate, can mount very easily on a stand, comes with a visor clip, uh, or it can just be freestanding, stuck to the wall by itself. So there's so many different ways that you can utilize it. Correct. So we're, we're at the roller shade here, and what a roller shade is is very similar to the lampshade that you knew that you've pulled down and, and raised, except this is motorized. There's a couple ways to operate it. One way is in conjunction with a control system like Radio Raw 2 or Homeworks. Mm -hmm. The other way is with a wired keypad that you can just. Look how easy this is. Not only easy, silent. You That's true. Them. I didn't hear a thing. You could have 50 of them lined up. <laughs> you still wouldn't and hear they, a thing. They wouldn't hear them and they would all track like they were one shade. Now, I know earlier we were talking about the customizability of both these shades, and it seems Correct. to me you have a few books here. Yeah, the roller shades have some beautiful fabrics like the suede or this little oh, box wow. stitch. They have a, 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 a whole binders and binders of all different materials, which I'll show you. And it seems to me too, though, these have different light consistencies. Correct. So you if you basically have mm -hmm. room darkening or blackout, you have privacy, which is the shade we all grew up with that let light through, but you couldn't see through. Exactly. Then there's a thing called openness factor. And they make a 3%, 5%, and 10%. So a 3%, you can make out shadows and see what's going on. A 5%, you could really see in, in almost clear detail. 10%, you could read a license plate. So Jim, let's say that someone came in here and said, I want to buy these shades. Where do you go from there? How do you measure it and how do you install it? Good question. The, 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 the quick answer is whether we're going to be talking about the cellular shade or the roller shades. The roller shades need to be installed by a professional. The cellular shades, you can install yourself. The measurements are critical. We have a, a, a guide to how to measure. We would only let you measure cellular shades. Otherwise, we would actually come to the house and do the actual measurement. And if you're uncomfortable measuring cellular, We'll come do that as well. And then the whole installation process, you don't have to lift a finger. We have installers that are factory trained to install that will come out and do that. More importantly, our staff is trained 
to give you the most professional service as possible. And if you don't like the flat look, trust me, there's more. Venetian blinds. Now, an interesting point about Venetian blinds. We all grew up with Venetian oh, blinds. Yeah. And you remember Venetian blinds had the cords, yeah, and kids could get caught in it, and there was exactly. death and everything. Well, all the motorized window treatments don't have cords, so there's no danger of that. And that's you so important. Getting, getting you know, caught in it or anything like that. They're also states. featherweight, so if you do get hit with one when it's coming down, you won't even. No need to worry. Yeah, it's, there's nothing to it. Light as a feather. Yeah, light as a feather. So there's the Venetian, then there's Romans. Roman is like a heavy material that kind of gathers as it goes up. Drapery, you have motorized curtain rods. So if you have your drapes that open and close or single, they really? were able to, to do that as well. And really cool, they call it curbet. It's more like a stage curtain, but they take an actual pleated drape and wind it up on a roller and it utilizes fingers so that keeps the pleat and keeps the press. So Wild. goes up, comes down, and that's what that's the picture. What do they think of next? Well, what they are thinking of next, and they just announced it at Cedia, is battery-operated roller shades. And coming soon to a Connecticut coming Lighting Center near you. Coming soon to Connecticut Lighting near you. And you could be coming soon to the Connecticut Lighting Center too, or you can check them out online, ctlighting.com.